Melbourne Chef. It's an Israeli restaurant in South Melbourne. I've been here a few times before. When um, it first opened up a few years ago, it started as a cafe doing your sort of standard, good versions of um, Melbourne brunch classics. And over the years, owner Ehud has changed it into an Israeli restaurant, selling the kind of food that reflects his heritage and Jerusalem where he was born. So this is the start of our attempted video series where Laura and I are going to be going around Melbourne and focusing on small restaurants and chefs and talking about what they do, highlighting what makes um, their restaurants and their food special. So um, bear with us. This is our first attempt. Think of it as a pilot episode and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go in. So walking to the kitchen here, and this is Ehud, the man behind what the left-handed chef. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, today um, contacted Evan on Facebook a little a few days ago. Actually, yeah, it's been yeah. pretty uh, pretty recent about doing this little filming, and he was up for it. So I decided we'd um, talk a little bit about yeah, like the left-handed chef and what the restaurant's all about. So. Yeah, I mean, I'll give people, give people a bit of an intro saying, you know, how you started this cafe and how you've yeah, seen you evolve over the years, so... To me, we started as a cafe, what, eight years ago? Um, Israeli cafe, a bit of a mixture of Israeli and Melbourne. Um, but obviously, there was a the, the starting point of the, the place that gradually evolved to what I wanted to be, which was an Israeli restaurant. And then after even a few more years, um, about two years ago, we managed to change the place to what I originally wanted it to be, a Kumusia, which is a, an Israeli restaurant that based around Kumus balls and falafel and a very traditional, authentic street food um, that, we, that we have. Falafel pillow pockets, a beef, Kumus balls. There, there are a lot of different um, things that we we eat as a street food. It's all coming from everywhere around the world, but this is the type of food that at least I grew up, I'm sure a lot of other people grew up. So what are you cooking for everyone? Well, pasta? <laughs> well today we're gonna cook something that's actually a new special in the restaurant. We're gonna cook a Jerusalem sandwich that is um, something that I personally grew up with going to Jerusalem, going um, when we used to go there to play basketball or watch basketball games or everything throughout the childhood when we used to go to the city. We always, always, always made sure we're going to stop in a place that's called Baguette Marziano. It's like a different version of Subway, um, but a nicer Middle Eastern version of Subway. Um, that the, the type of sandwiches you get are more sort of like your mom's or your grandmother's cooking from home but it all, it's all in a baguette um, so the, the flavors are really nice um, so the one that we're gonna have today is a baguette with hummus and bucha, some lamb koftas and some salads like pickled red cabbage and bully which makes a really good combination of flavors Sounds really good. Well, the first thing um, we'll do is we heat up the hot plate and we cook the lamb koftas. Now the koftas got a lot of things in them. Uh, obviously, except the lamb, they've got, like I mentioned before, harissa. They got some um, fresh coriander, fresh parsley, um, cumin, salt. Uh, a lot, actually, a lot more. Um, it's it's a, like I said, it's a big mixture of um, spices and flavors kind of make an impact and goes really well with the lamb at the end. So we're just gonna grill them on the hot plate. Just make a few for the for the sandwich. And I want the same Cocktails have been cooked. We can start work on the sandwich itself. Um, so we can take the get. I'll just open it. 
And a little bit, just so it gets nice, nice and crunchy. Uh, meanwhile, we've got the things that we're actually putting in the in the sandwich itself. So we've got the hummus, uh, we got the matbucha. The matbucha is a Tunisian sauce that's made mainly from onion, garlic, tomatoes, and grilled capsicum. Uh, it's delicious and even better if you put some red chili in it because it gives it a bit of a kick, it gives it a little bit of a um, extra flavor against the tanginess of the tomato. Uh, we've got the pickled red, pickled red cabbage and some tabbouleh that all going to go in the sandwich and at the end we're going to put tahini on it because we know that lamb and tahini are really good friends. Tell us about your um, your hummus. I know a lot of people have uh, varying opinions on what should or shouldn't oh, go into hummus. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a difficult one. My sort of my um, my base on hummus is that hummus needs to be very basic. Hummus is made out of chickpeas. Hummus needs to taste like chickpeas. So I keep my hummus very basic: chickpeas, tahini, salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon. No garlic, no... Some people put a lot of lemon juice, that's why sometimes when you can buy hummus, especially from supermarket, you get that tangy, um, very lemony flavor from it. Um, garlic is a big no for me. There's a sort of big movement or big hummus makers in Israel that say that the garlic stinks the hummus. That's the toasted baguette. On the bottom layer, we're gonna put a good amount of Hummus, just to so the flavor goes through and all the the flavor from the chickpeas go through and the top will put the nice spicy matbucha and we've got the lamb koftas going here on top of them we'll put some tabbouleh Pickled red cabbage. That's gonna be very nice against the flavors of the lamb and the mukha. And of course the best friend of lamb, the guinea. And that's the Jerusalem sandwich. It's very nice and full of flavors and amazing combination of flavors. Easier to eat than what you think. That looks and smells amazing. Thank you. It's a shame people can't um, can't smell on <laughs> can't, video. They can't smell anything <laughs> with the camera. Yeah. No, the, 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 this sandwich is, even though it looks just like a sandwich in a baguette, like I explained before, and I'm always trying to explain to people, trust the chef sometimes. The, the combinations of flavors that people are bringing to the table, like chefs, professional chefs, Sometimes they work better, even if you don't like pickled red cabbage. In this sandwich, pickled red cabbage is gonna taste completely different than pickled red cabbage in a bowl because it plays against the the, the strong flavor of the lamb, the spiciness of the matbucha, the, the 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 hummus, the smoothness of the, and the richness of the hummus. They all kind of playing a part in that one. Um, that good bite of the combination of flavors. It's it's just, yeah, like I, I always say, trust the chef, trust the chef. Mm. 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 Mm.